Hello guys, welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be using the Bic Markers. It's a 36 set. This is actually my sister's. I just really wanted to use it for a video because I don't have Bic Markers. I've used them before when I was like a little kid because my dad always had them laying around and stuff. So yeah, but that's not the point. But I always see Luce and Nima creating these awesome, beautiful artworks with them. And my sister says they're really good too a few times that she has used them so I thought why not like there's so many colors and I just want to see if I like you know can create something nice I will also still be using my color pencils on top because otherwise it would just be weird because that's not what I usually make but anyways let's get started with the video because I hate long intros okay so let's go ahead and open these up so we can start swatching I am loving these pastel colors they are so pretty if I can open this. Okay, so here are all the colors. So we're gonna swatch them so you know, because like sometimes the cap colors are different than what the colors actually are. So you don't wanna ruin the drawing. I've done that many times. <laughs> so we're gonna swatch them first, but I am loving these pastel colors. They are so pretty. So I'm like, so excited to swatch those because those are really pretty. I'm nervous for skin tones though. Who knows, we could do an alien or something. But let's go ahead and get to swatching. I'm gonna be swatching with this Canson um, mixed media paper. I think it's like 98 pound. But let's go ahead and start swatching. Here's what the marker looks like, if you would focus. And then here's the nib. So I'm really excited to use these. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I said let's get swatching like two or three times before I actually started swatching the markers. Please forgive me if that annoyed you. It annoyed me, so I'm sorry. I'll try not to do that again. Okay, so here's basically the drawing I've created. I might tweak a few things, but um, basically this is the drawing I created. And I've kind of planned out a color scheme, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. So here was my original concept coloring. So basically like a a blue and orange. I definitely want to do blue skin, but I think I might do like um, gray for the shirt and her hair. So it might be like gray and blue and black color scheme instead. So I think that's what I'm going to do, but I still really do like this. I think it's going to look pretty good, but I'm kind of nervous because I've never used these for a drawing, but they seem pretty good. So let's go started. Okay, so I didn't have skin tones in this situation here. I felt like if I had more markers, obviously I'd probably have some skin tones. I was gonna do like a darker skinned girl, but I felt like it looked a bit orange, so I went with a blue skinned girl. So yeah, but at first I felt like I had a hard time with these markers because it doesn't have a brush nib or like, what are they called? Like the fine tip end where I can't like get good details in I guess because the nibs like so different but I only had a problem with that for a little bit but then I got used to it and I really loved these markers I felt like if I had more I obviously would have more variety to choose from and hopefully more skin tones but these markers were really good and I had a lot of fun with them and I feel like if I had these myself I would totally put them in my little collection because they're really good I had a lot of fun with this drawing because I don't make 
like different usually I stick to like normal skin tones if you know what I mean I don't know but I always have fun doing these weird drawings and I really liked it originally as you guys saw in the first concept little thing I was gonna make her have an orange um, t-shirt and orange hair I believe yeah I think it was that but then I changed it I just I did not like it I I did not like that concept so I went with a gray shirt black pants and black hair and I like this a lot better I don't know about you but maybe we can do that color combo in the future who knows I don't know but I was really worried about blending with these markers too but like it didn't matter really if I blend in good or bad because I use color pencil so sometimes it saved me and sometimes it looked really good so I don't know how to explain stuff if you know what I mean then that's cool because I don't know how to explain it to people who don't know but yeah I had a lot of fun with these markers and I think Okay, the 36 set, I think I went on Amazon, and it was like $20, I think? But if you went to Michael's, it was like $60 for the 36 set. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so expensive. So get it on Amazon. But I really want to get some big markers. I really liked these. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you for the little bit of the rest of the video, and then talk again in a minute. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're getting near the end, so the final piece will pop up in a second, but I just want to say I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for always supporting me. I'm so thankful for you guys. You guys are so awesome and so nice to me. You, you guys are just amazing, so thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and see you next time. Bye! Can you show them all the things on it? Whoa! No, me. You want to do it? Okay. Yeah. I think that is the.